there's no doubt by the grace of Allah we are coming to power after the 2020 elections. When we are in power, we are going to review. And when I mean review, we will look at everything that is in tandem with the national interest. If it falls short of the national interest, I can tell you the NDC will not uphold anything that is not in the national interest. So we will look at things that are ultimately in the national interest and in the supreme benefit of the, the good uh, uh, majority, ordinary people of this country. Okay. So long as it's in their interest, that is what we uphold. If it is not in the interest of the good people of this country, we will take steps to make sure that it is in the interest of the good people of this country. Speak, your argument is that it's not in, in the interest of the people of Ghana. Of so course, we are saying that some aspects of it are not in the interest of the good people of this country. Mm -hmm. And so to the extent that that is why the minority opposed it. Mm -hmm. If everything was deemed to have been in the interest of the people, we would have upheld it. But like the spoke by a ranking member on finance has spoken. This country is being shortchanged. Okay. So those areas in which we are being shortchanged are the areas that we are calling for to be rectified. Mm -hmm. And so when we have the opportunity to be in power, those areas will be rectified without necessarily throwing overboard policies and programs that we have been started. But those areas that seem to shortchange the good people of this country will be rectified. <laughs>